Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at a soundbar from Blitzwolf. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so this is the Blitzwolf BW SDB0. Now this is a really, really inexpensive soundbar from the people at Blitzwolf. Now this one has been sent to me from the lovely people over at Banggood. So if you want to pick up a bargain on one of these, you can actually pick this up in the UK at the moment. Postage paid for about £20, which I think is fantastic value for money. You can also pick up uh, Blitzwolf stuff on Amazon. There will be links in the description below so you can check out either option. So obviously, as you can see, it's on the desk, so I have unboxed it already. I've tested it, I've checked it out. I've thrown it in the garden and to see how strong it is. And actually, it's lived to tell the tale. I have genuinely thrown this pretty much 20 foot down the length of the garden to see if it would survive. And lo and behold, it still works. So let's look at what we get actually in the packaging. So obviously the packaging is really basic stuff. This is the kind of stuff you just want to throw away. They haven't wasted any time, money or effort on the packaging, so neither am I. In the packaging, you get a micro USB to USB type A charging cable. Now obviously, most people have got these lying around, so if you wanted to have a, an exceptionally long cable plumbed into an electrical socket or to your PC or whatever, you can do that, but they do supply quite a shortish length cable in the box. You get the usual uh, happy face and sad face, so if you've got any problems, you can contact them, all the information is in there. Or if you've got happy face, you can share your love on their links in that pamphlet. Also, we get the no frills user manual, and actually, while I'm on the subject of this, the user manual in my particular version, this may not uh, be applicable to you if you do get one, but my manual was actually wrong on a couple of instances. So if you do receive one of these and you're trying to set it up, the manual isn't the best place to get the information from. It's a good overview, but some of the actual techniques to change the clock or to set the radio stations, etc., isn't very clear on here. But if you go to uh, Banggood's website and check out the information there, all the information there is completely perfect and works first time. So just thought I'd uh, throw that in. What does this thing do? Well, essentially it is a dual speaker soundbar. So you've got two speakers, each one is five watts, so a total of 10 watts. There's also two passive radiators. So you've got two speakers in the end there and you've got two passive radiators here. Now, this is actually quite a well-made mesh and I couldn't find an angle that I could actually see what was inside there. So you can't actually see what's inside, but again, on the Banggood site, there is a exploded view of all the components and circuitry that's inside it. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, again, check out the links in the description and you can find out more. So it's a Bluetooth speaker, that's the primary thing. Uh, it's also got a built-in FM radio. So if radio is your thing, you can listen to the radio. It will also pay back from other sources, from your mobile device via Bluetooth. There is also an option on the back. You've got the option for a trans flash or micro SD card. Now you can stick MP3 files on there and search through them, no problems at all. Playback files, sounds really good. You can also do the same with a traditional USB stick. So if you put a load of songs in a folder, you can go through and check out all those kinds of things. You've got your traditional 3.5 mil auxiliary jack. You've got a DC 5 volt charging adapter, which is, like we said, micro USB standard. And last but not least on the end, you've got a physical on off switch. So if I turn this off now, I've actually preset the clock already. So just for those of you that are interested, the clock actually does stay resident in memory. So you don't have to reset the clock every time. And it's also the same with the uh, FM channels. So once you've searched the channels and it's stored them into the memory, they stay in there indefinitely i guess or at least until the built-in battery is completely exhausted in which case it may well lose it but i've not ever had the battery run down that low so i couldn't honestly tell you so when you turn this on for the first time if there is a trans flash card in there or a usb stick in there it will default to play back those straight away so i'm going to turn it on now and you can see the boot up process and it will start playing immediately so if for instance you're using this uh, maybe in a shop or in some kind of display you can not worry about it, you literally come in in the morning, turn on the switch and it will just start playing the music which you've put on the SD card or uh, USB stick. So I'll show you what it's like and you can obviously hear what it's like as well. Play by TF card. So we'll press play up. Uh, 
press pause there rather and stop the music because you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. So essentially that's how it works. Very, very simple indeed. Now, if you want to change through the different modes that are available, you can press the M key, which is pretty much self-explanatory. So that is mode. You've also got additional buttons. So you've got the plus button, a minus button, and a play and pause button. Now, when you're trying to set the clock in clock mode, in the manual, it says you have to press and hold the M button to get into change the uh, the time, the hours, and the minutes. But that is incorrect. You press and hold the play button. So I'll go ahead and do that now. We'll put it into clock mode. mode so in clock mode you normally get this display so if you press and hold the play and pause button and then the digits will flash and then you can change it accordingly press the button again and it will then change the minutes and once you're done you can press that again so I press and hold and it should start flashing and the two dots in the middle start flashing so that means it saved it now in the FM mode, now the FM reception on this, to be honest with you, isn't the greatest. It doesn't have an aerial as such, an external aerial. So it's relying on the circuitry actually on the main board. Upstairs in my bedroom, I picked up at least 10 channels on the FM and they all sounded very good. In this particular room, there's a lot of interference electrically. And also we do suffer where we live from radio signal anyway, and especially so in this room. So I won't display the FM radio and also due to copyright, obviously, that could be an issue, so I won't be showing you that. But the FM radio, uh, once you go into FM mode, again, press and hold the play pause button, and it will automatically search the stations, and it will preset them from presets one to however many stations it picks up. If you want to cycle through the stations, you can use the plus and minus buttons to cycle through. If you press and hold the plus and minus buttons in all the modes, that will actually increase or decrease the volume. So if I show you that now, Oh, it won't do it in clock mode, obviously, because there's nothing playing. Play by TF card. So in TF card. So one press will be fast forward or rewind a track, or skip a track rather. And if you press and hold the button, it'll go up in volume. Now this thing does get actually exceptionally loud, so I'll take it up to full blast. So I do apologize for those of you that have headphones, so uh, you have been warned. So there we go, there's an, an example of how loud it gets, and probably the audio limiter has kicked in because that was getting pretty loud, but you get the general idea. And again, we can press and press play or pause to pause the action. Now obviously this works also as a Bluetooth device, so once it's connected to your mobile phone, you can stream your music from it. So if you're listening to maybe the Surfer app, you can stream that music directly to the unit. Also, if you get an incoming call, then you, obviously you can answer the call. Now you can use the microphone that's built into this, or into your phone, whichever you choose, but this can be used as a standalone hands-free unit. So if, for instance, you're using it as a sound bar in front of your computer, perhaps, and you're using the three and a half mil jack plug for your PC audio, and then also connect up your phone on Bluetooth, so you can have it in Bluetooth mode if you get a call, that kind of thing. Very flexible, lots of options. Um, and again, for 20 pounds, it does seem like uh, a very low cost for what is actually a very premium product and full of features. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I'll be interested to see what you people think of it. Um, would you buy one of these for £20? Can you suggest a, a better alternative possibly? So anyway, this has been the Blitzwolf BWSDW0 soundbar. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks very much for watching. Five zero one one eight one six. Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing, and there is nobody to take your call. Please leave your number and your name after the beep. Beep.